everyone, my name is Sophia. I'm one of the wellness coaches with Savvy Health Solutions. And today I'm gonna to be doing an at-home 15 minute workout for you guys. It's gonna be all body weight exercises. If you guys do wish and you have weights or some type of resistance, you can definitely use those and follow along. Just wanna make sure that you have good form the entire time and don't sacrifice that weight um, for those reps or form or anything like that. So we're gonna be doing three exercises for two blocks and then we're gonna repeat that same form, 45 on, 15 seconds off with three new exercises. Um, for a warm up, what I'm gonna have you guys do is 10 body weight squats, 10 alternating arm and leg, and 10 10 huts, which I will show you. So for body weight squats, feet are gonna be shoulder width apart, weight down in those heels, pushing those hips back. I'm gonna do 10 reps. Then 10 alternating arm and leg, reaching up will be your next one. And 10 huts, we're gonna open up the chest, squeeze those shoulder blades together for 10 reps. So you're gonna do all three of those exercises, 10 reps each, three times through for your warm up. So let's go ahead and get into our actual exercises that we'll be doing. We're gonna have three for the first one. And I just have a timer on my phone for 45 seconds on, 15 on. So our first exercise is gonna be squats. We're going to do narrow to wide. So I'm gonna set my timer and we'll go ahead and get started. So chest up, keep shoulder width apart, weight down in those heels. So for our squat to be narrow, wide. Narrow, wide as we're going. We do this from the side, same thing. Just stepping out with one foot. We can get the second foot our second time around. If you would like to jump with these wide, narrow, you can definitely do this as well. Tight core, chest up, shoulders back. 10 seconds left. If we're gonna step, same thing. Narrow to wide. Three, two, one, set. And next. 15 seconds, we're gonna do our V-sits for core. So you're gonna on these. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. So for V-sits, we can have our hands down, bringing our knees towards our chest, or to make them a little harder, we can bring those hands up. If taking those legs out is too far, we can also just tap those heels on the ground. You don't have to keep them up the entire time. Just a big neck variation. And then hands. Breathe out as our knees are coming forward. Same thing here. Or you can just hold. It's a good one as well. Or tap those heels. 10 seconds. After this, we're gonna do more lunges. Three, two, Fifteen seconds in between each exercise. We'll do one leg for the first side lunge. The next time we come around, we'll do the opposite. So he's siding, lunging out with my right leg. Step out. Push those hips back. I'm pressing up through this right heel here. Breathe out tight core. If I'm doing this from the side, same thing. Have those hips come back. Push up through that heel. Nice tight pull. You can do a little pull. Do you want to do a little pulses so when they come up? You can as well. Just single leg. Remember, we'll get the left leg on our second rim. Little pause. Press up through that heel. Making sure my knee. Doesn't go off my toe. I don't want to be like this. We want to have that weight down in our heel to push back. Good. So that was one round through. We're going to go to our first one again, which is our narrow squats and wide squats. You need to jump or for stepping out, we'll step out with that left leg. Narrow, wide. Just a little step in between. If you want to make it harder, you can stay nice and low that entire time. From the side, same thing. Chest up, shoulders back, tight core. Or you can add that jump in. Narrow to wide. 
keeping that weight down in our heels, just like we did in our warm up. Tight core. Back to the jump. Wide, narrow. Wide, narrow. If I'm here on the side, same thing, push those hips back. Weight down in those heels. Good. Good. And back to our core exercise, our V sits. 10 seconds. Five. Remember, you can watch your own pace. Take as many breaks as you would like. Good. One. And begin. Having the hands down here by the side will allow for a little bit more stability up here. That core has to work. A little bit harder to balance here. Same thing here. You can take the heels down. Or we can just hold. The farther out we put our legs, the harder it will be. The closer in there, the easier it will be. About 13 seconds left. And keep going. Five seconds left. And now we're going to go back to our lunges. We're going to side lunge out with that left leg. We did our right one before. You can always take a little break for water and get started. So, left leg lunging out. Push those hips back, chest up, keeping that knee behind my toe. Remember, I'm always pressing up. With the leg that I'm lunging out on, my other one will be straight. On the side, if I'm here, lunge, push that hip back, and come up. Breathing out as we're standing up. Good, we're almost done with our first block. We've got about 13 seconds left. Need to take a second and shake it out. Side lunge, breathe out, press up through this heel. Good. And go ahead and relax. So that was our first block that we did. We did narrow to wide squats, knee sits, and side lunges out to the right and then to the left. We just switched legs the second round. So now we're going to get three new exercises. We're going to be doing hip hinge, plank dips, and elevated glutes. So hip hinges, I'll show you the modifications on those, like hip dips and elevated glute bridges. I'm going to just have my chair here and just put a towel on it because your feet are going to be up there. But no worries, I can always show you them to you on the ground as well. So same thing as before, 45 on, 15 off, using that same timer that I had going forward. Hip hinges, it's going to be as if we're doing a desk. So you want to get those hamstrings engaged. Feet are going to be short width apart. I'm going to hinge on my hip, pushing those hamstring and glutes coming back. You can have your hands right here. What we don't want to do is drop the upper body. So all of our hips going back. If you want to make these harder, you can do two more. So I will go through the two for you, and let's go ahead and get started. Hip hinges. I'm going to start on my left leg. I just got my other hand coming down, imagining that I had a weight here, really feeling that stretch in the hamstring glute tight core. If our balance is a little bit off, we can do both legs, shoulder width apart, push those hips back, squeeze glutes and the hamstrings coming up. You really want to feel that pull. And breathe out the top. If you're still doing single leg, make sure we're still doing it all on that left leg. There you go, those counties warming up. And next, our core exercise. Plank hip dip. I'm going to be in the plank position. My elbows are going to be right underneath my shoulders. I'm going to rotate down to the side. This can also be done on your knees. This would be the modification. Come up onto those toes. My core. Make 
sure we're breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. If the rotation is a little bit too hard, you can also just pull up that plank as well, whether it's on your knees, or up on those toes, or even up on those hands. Go back to those hips. And dropping one hip towards the ground. Controlling coming up. In through the nose, out through the mouth. And our third exercise, elevated rhythmic press. So I'm going to come to my chair. Nice and easy for your ankle. Hands on the sides. Squeeze those glutes and hamstrings from here. Breathe it out. Control on the downward. Nice flat back. Squeeze those glutes and hamstrings nice to the top. And return down. To make this a little bit harder, you can do single leg if you would like. So I would do all one leg this time and then we'll switch the next round. If you're finding that having them up on the chair is too hard, you can bring them down and do them right here on the ground as well. Same thing, coming back up to the chair. Squeeze with some hands and control with that core lower. Pull, slowly come down. So we're going to start back up at the top with our hip hinges. Feet right underneath. Nice tight core. If you did single leg before, let's switch to that right leg. Have my hands here like my pretend weight. Feel that stretch. Hamstring glitch. Nice flat back. I'm doing that right leg. Same thing. Little bend in my knee. Feel that stretch. And come up. You might notice one side is a little bit more difficult than the other. You just might have better balance on the side. Same thing. Going to the Breathing out at the top. Three, two, one. And back to our plank hip dip, either on the knees or up on the toes. Ten seconds. Five. Three, two, one. And begin. Keep that hip down. Each direction. Do it on our knees. The movement's going to be a little bit more minimal. Heels just out of reach on the ground. Squeeze cheeks and hamstrings. Control coming down. Or up here. Knee it up. Control coming down. Nice tight core and flat back. We've got about 10 seconds left. Almost there. Three, five, two, one. A little early on that one. So, just the 15 minute through what you can do if you would like I would say probably go through those blocks about three times through each one but thank you for hanging in there with me today um what I would suggest is if you are going to do more rounds or if you just want to call it right now just remember to do a nice cool down stretch 
kind of do some of those static stretching just to make sure that we don't have any knots or any tight cramps or anything later. But as always, thank you for tuning in and hope to see you on my next workout.